Hello, this week I'm gonna take you to the site of a possible destroyed stone circle. And you are gonna work out if that's what it is. I'll put some sort of ordnance overlay up in a minute to show you where we are. But if you follow me through here, and you'll see that we are on the Kirkstone Pass on the southern side as it comes down from the summit. This is the modern way across the mountain and we are heading off down there to find our possible stone circle. You can put uh, some sort of ordnance overlay up now. You'll see that it's one of these now useless rights of way which starts and finishes on a busy road populated by inappropriate idiots since the inappropriate lockdown. But what it uh, indicates is that this modern road that we've had a look at uh, through the mountain has probably only consolidated as the main route in the last two or three hundred years. In the past there were multiple routes coming down the mountain to to avoid obstacles caused by rain and flood and snows and the like. I'm not suggesting that this route down to our possible stone circle is prehistoric, but it certainly is old. Prehistoric or not, it's very clearly an obvious routeway down the mountain here, and it leads us slap bang to our possible stone circle site. Now, this is actually my second attempt to do this video. I was here yesterday. Unlike my fellow YouTube antiquarians down south who seem to be basking in an unseasonably early spring, up here in the north, it's just rain, 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 and it was impossible to film yesterday. I just couldn't get it uh, right. I did even have the opportunity to capture a magnificent red stag with antlers uh, on film. But uh, I had the GoPro out at the time, and your YouTubers will know how useless they are for that sort of thing. And by the time I'd fumbled in my pocket to get my phone to try and get some pixelated zoom shots, it all went wrong. On yesterday's attempt uh, to get here, I came in from the south. It was going to be a rambling hiking video. And on the way back in the car, I just drove up a bit and found that if you park at the top end, it's a very short walk down to our alleged stone circle. But the weather is mercifully much better today. <laughs> We've come down the track a short way, the idiots are still driving just up there on the main road, and uh, the objective for our investigation is this away. And note, our trackway leads right up to it. Okay, so remember, you're going to decide on if this is a stone circle or not. I'm now going to present the evidence to you. What we're looking at is very clearly a burial mound, a ring cairn. Since the late uh, Victorian era, uh, the view has been put that on top of the cairn is a stone circle and that this uh, magnificent standing stone is part of a circle. If we have a walk around the top of the cairn, we can see that there are a series of uh, stones. Some of them appear to be sort of shaped, others appear to be natural. So over here on this side of the cairn, below the proposed circle on the top, we've got this exposed rock. I don't think that's got anything to do with this uh, stone circle sort of hypothesis. I suspect that has just become exposed as the cairn has become denuded, eroded away. And then the second part of the Victorian theory is the stone circle on top of the cairn, but over here in this wall, we have one, two, three stones from an outer circle. So the Victorian idea is that this is a concentric 
stone circle. Over on the other side, there is nothing to indicate that the stones in the wall were matched by a ring of stones running around there. But there is a sort of an indication of that on this side, the northern side. I'm stood on a stone there, but it looks very natural. Then we've got this one here largely buried. That does have some shape to it. And then this one here as well, which um, is sort of shaped and in line. And then headed south, uh, the track uh, carries on, prehistoric or not. I think it's very interesting that uh, the track makes a beeline uh, for the stone circle. Indeed, through it, you could see tyre tracks where people are driving over the cairn to this uh, very day. It suggests that if the track isn't the original access to the stone circle or cairn or whatever it uh, was, then in later years it's become a sort of a signpost as a way down the valley. On the trackway to the southern end of the site, we've got these possible portal stones. Of course, some have proposed that these stones embedded now in the wall uh, were moved and put there at a later stage. But they, these two, this one and that one, do have a lovely shape and some sort of consistency with the big one on top of the cairn. And our final bit of evidence is from the 1890s when a unpolished stone axe was found sort of just a few yards down there south of the circle. And that uh, axe find from 1893 apparently resides in Lancaster Museum. If the weather keeps on uh, messing us around, that might form the basis of a whole video at some point in the future. Having said that, it's turned out grand uh, today, so uh, thanks to Southern YouTube antiquarians for sending it our way. OK, then, to summarise, I don't think there's any contention that this is a burial mound, a ring can. But what do you think about this idea that the big stone on the top is the remnant of a stone circle that was on top of it and the stones embedded in that wall are the remnants of an outer stone circle, so a concentric stone circle. We'll run a little bit of B-roll to sort of summarise the location and then it'll be time for you to decide. presented the evidence so it's now down to you guys to decide in our interactive quiz now remember with those youtube attention spans that the question is not if is this a prehistoric uh, burial mound there's no doubt about that the question is are we looking at the remains of a destroyed concentric stone circle so it's now time to vote Choose your options if you think it is a stone circle. Select this one if you think it isn't. Select uh, that. And remember as you vote that it's very important that no traitors survive until the end of the game. Otherwise they'll take... No, that's something else. So please go ahead and vote. Stone circle, not a stone circle. We'll give you a little bit of time to uh, cast your votes. And here they come. Ah, yes, so the answer is not dissimilar to Brexit. 49% of you think that it is the remains of a destroyed stone circle and 51% uh, of you think that it isn't. You know who would have liked it here, don't you? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. No doubt he would have seen some of his beloved fairies. <laughs> 
Now, just to address the title of this video, Controversial Stone Circle, I know it hasn't been a controversial stone circle. The reason for that is that a couple of recent videos that I posted that had uh, titles that sort of implied a degree of controversy massively outperformed the normal uh, ones. So I thought I'd just give it a go and see if lightning would strike once again. Now, I just wanted to address this thing that came up recently about me looking a bit ill or injured. I've worked out what it is. When I film on this, then it seems to give me a pasty complexion. Whereas when I film on this, I seem to look a whole lot healthier. In fact, uh, in this app, there's actually this glamour effects thing. Oh, it doesn't work if you're filming in 4K. Let's uh, try it there. So we can say glamour effects on, we can uh, brighten it and smooth it to maximum. And then uh, that should hopefully make me look a lot uh, better. Let's uh, give that a go. Right, let's have a go and see what the old uh, glamour effects does to me. Is that better? Is that more pleasing to thine eyes? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it really is a special place. I don't believe in fairies, uh, obviously, but uh, let's just soak up the atmosphere of this amazing sight. Hello, welcome to another Tweedy Pubs video. You may be forgiven for asking why I'm standing in the middle of the busy road junction in front of what looks like a closed down bank, but that is in fact the site, the old site of the Angel Hotel. This is an area I've always, to be honest, dismissed somewhat, just thinking it will be awash with gastro pubs and bar and ball paint as far as the eye can see. But perhaps I have been unfair. It was until not too long ago known as the Charles. <laughs>